apostles of GMS and honesty brothers doing the work in truth more sincerity. Swan is inspired by, I was on the net, saw a guy basically made the statement, um, oh, at this point I wouldn't be surprised if dinosaurs made a comeback. Now I remember years ago watching a video that, um, uh, it was live, it was not it was before live days, but it was at Camp 34th Street and uh, Elder Tuzz the Duck, but basically making a statement that uh, uh, really dinosaurs never left, just like how man is less in stature, so the animals are too. Ryan gave a couple of examples, um, you know, but what I wanted to get into was the fact that Leviathan, right, which Esau dramatizes as Godzilla, right, you know, he, he, he's still around, right, and the Lord has basically set him, you know, in, in the seas, right, to do what he does there, right, so, you know, what was going to be happening in these last days is going to be, uh, you know, is, is going to be a sight to behold, right, it's the second Ezra 647, upon the fifth day, thou sayest unto the seventh part, where the waters were gathered, that it should bring forth living creatures, fowls and fishes, and so it came to pass, for the dumb water, and without life brought forth living things, at the commandment of the most, that like all people might praise our wondrous works, right, so this is uh, starting at the point, so then thou didst ordain two living creatures, the one that callest Enoch and the other Leviathan, right? So I wanted to read into it because it says upon the fifth day. So this is a second Ezra six this section, whereas an expansion um, is expounding on Genesis the first chapter, right? So this is saying that man was created on uh, the fifth day, right? Represented here as Enoch, right? Um, says. Uh, then thou didst ordain two living creatures, the one thou callest Enoch and the other Leviathan, right? and didst separate the one from the other for the seventh part, namely where the water was gathered together, might not hold them uh, both. Unto Enoch thou gavest one part, uh, 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 which was dried up the third day, that he should dwell in the same part wherein are thousand hills. But unto Leviathan thou gavest the seventh part, namely the moist, and hast kept him to be devout of whom thou wilt and when, right? and, says, and, and, and when, man. Right, so they, once again, Leviathan. That's one of the, uh, 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 that's one of the things in the most size arsenal, man. Right. It's just, uh, Psalms one hundred four twenty six. There go the ships. There is that Leviathan whom thou hast made to play their rent. So that's that's his. Um, you know that's his. <clears throat> it's like you know that's the Leviathan. What's the word I'm looking for? That's his playground, right? You know, the, the, the waters are his playground. When you read, I believe it's Job, the 41st chapter, goes in, you know, into a description of Leviathan, right? You know, like I said, yeah, so that's that's more or less the whole chapter, all 36 verses, which, you know, you can read in your, old, uh, in your own uh, uh, leisure, right? Leisure meaning to read. Right? And also, I um, wanted to grab this as well as Wisdom 11, 18. It says, all unknown wild beasts full of rage, newly created, Breathing out either fiery vapor or filthy scents of scattered smoke or shooting horrible sparkles out of their eyes. All right. So, hey, you know, basically what's being said, right, is they going, the, these beasts that the Lord has in store, right, uh, you know, they're going to be doing some stuff, man. He says, you know, newly created. So, the Lord's going to be, you know, adding, right? It says shooting horrible sparks out of their eyes, right? Or breathing out a fiery vapor, so you know, you know, burning things in their path. So, hey, look, these, hey, what does the scripture say, man? This is Daniel's 12th chapter, the first verse. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation. Even to the same time, and at that time, that people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book, right? So this is uh, uh, going into the fact that in these last days, right, what's going to be happening in the world is 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 going to be unprecedented. That's the word that's been used surrounding this COVID uh, uh, thing, right? But the Lord is going to really show you unprecedented, right? You know, because hey, you got to think about the destruction of Egypt, um, destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, right? What's going to happen is going to eclipse that, right? Because you're going to be having so many different things happen all at the same time, 
right? Because this is the destruction to end, you know, to end all destruction, right? This is gonna be, um, you know, it's gonna be a, a, a beautiful time, right? Uh, what do I also want to get? Let me grab this as well. You know, because Lord's gonna be setting these animals loose. The Lord's, Lord's gonna be doing some stuff in these days, man. This is a uh, uh, Sirach thirty nine. We'll start from twenty eight. So there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force. Right. So we're we're you know we're at the beginning of that time of destruction. The Lord's gonna keep things, you know, stoking up. Things are gonna you know things ain't gonna get easy. Right, things have to get harder before they get better. Things have to get worse before they get better. Right? Why? Because this man's kingdom has to fall. Right? And what we're witnessing all around the world, once again, with this COVID, you know, with these uh, uh, riots and all of that sort of stuff, that's all leading down that path to our salvation, man. Right? And it's going to be a, a difficult path. Right? Scripture says, for it is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But then what does it go and say? But he shall be saved out of it. Right? So the elect, right, they're gonna be saved out of it, out of this, you know, coming time, right? They'll be protected. Right? This is an appease the wrath of him that made them. Right? Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Right? And this point I want, it says teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Right, so hey, you know you're gonna have beasts, right? And Lord, uh, our well, scriptures all say, ah, remove out their place, right? You know, so you're gonna be getting animals, man. You know, in, in you know in places where they know you normally wouldn't see them, right? They're gonna be getting busy too. Well, once again, you kind of saw that with this COVID, right? Where you, you know you had, uh, you know, sheep just running, you know, through streets like it was nothing. You know, they yeah, it's sheep. Right, but you know there are different. You know there are different animals out there, man. Right, you know we have certain big cats, right? Uh, was it that that have been spotted in the UK, right? So hey, these last days they're gonna be something, right? You know Le Leviathan gonna be getting busy, right? And yeah, these people, man. Hey, these people gonna, you know, if you ain't of the elect, man, <laughs> these last. These last days are going to be difficult for you, man. When if you're on the shores of America, when the nuclear missiles drop, then you're going, you're going to burn. Right. So as always, Lord's Lord, I was edifying. Till the next time, shall I want.